So this is going to be the upgrades to the weapon motor for Mortician. And so this is what we're doing to set up a brushless setup for that. Um, in your previous versions, I had used the, uh, the Oyachi right angle gearbox to feed out to the weapon. And I really like the way the gearbox mounts and sets up. So it, it, it's something I've liked using, but I wanted more power than what we were putting through it before. So in the previous version of this setup, we ran with a long three inch mag motor. Okay. Um, and this is about four and a half horsepower. And th this, this setup worked okay. It's not like we didn't have a lot of power, but it was, it's pretty heavy for the amount of power that it's putting out. And so with uh, modern brushless setups, there's just better stuff out there. So we're going we're gonna to try something different. So instead of using the mag motor, we're going to use a brushless. Okay. And if you look at the size of these two, you'd swear that this was more power than this. This is actually about four and a half horsepower, and this is about twice that. It's about nine. So um, it's going to be quite a bit more power. Um, and so we're going to have to try to figure out ways to get this to work in this, this gearbox arrangement. If you notice one of the problems right up front, is if you look at the output shafts of the two motors, this is a half inch output shaft, which is typical for this. This is only eight millimeters actually uh, on the smaller side. So similar to what we did with the drive setup, we got to come up with some way to marry up the metric system on the, the brushless motor with the inch standard that's on the gearbox. And uh, so that's what we're going to do with this next. And hopefully we can get some power out of this thing. So the idea is to make this eight millimeter shaft up with this. Unfortunately, the gear that mates with that is kind of a custom guy. It's this, this spiral helical gear. And there just isn't a gear available with a, a, the bore smaller than eight millimeter. There just isn't anything that's available that I could modify to work with this. So realistically, I need to find some way to just simply go from eight millimeter shaft up to the half millimeter shaft that's in there. And I wouldn't necessarily say this is the best engineering I've done, but it, it is something I think is going to work. So I'm going to take a shaft like this. This one just goes from three quarter inch down to half inch. A half inch is the shaft I need for this gear to mate to. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore this out. I'm going to trim it down a bit, and I'm going to have this go into this three-quarter inch shaft, and then I'll have the half-inch shaft going into the gearbox. Now, that's going to make the whole arrangement a lot longer than I would really want, but everything I do here is still going to be significantly less space and less weight than the mag motor that was in here. So from here, where I ended up with... It's like this, okay? So it's been bored out for the eight millimeter shaft to go down inside of there. I got some set screws that are holding against the flat. All right, that's how this is held together. It's got a keyway cut into it for the gear. And this whole assembly is gonna slide into, into that gearbox. The biggest problem here is in order to get all this to work, well now it's, you know, it's quite a ways away from the gearbox to mount up correctly. Which caused me to have to make something really custom to bolt it all together. So this is similar to how I designed the ones before the drivetrain. The motor will basically go in here and be held by the, by the material. Shaft will come through here, kind of bolt it all together. Um, We'll have room there for a bearing to support this before it goes into the gearbox. It's kind of an unusual piece of engineering to get all to work, but I think when it all bolts together, we should be uh, should be okay. So let's uh, let's go ahead and bolt it together and see see if I can make this gearbox work.
so we started out with that motor and here's going to be the guy ready to bolt into the into the gearbox okay you can kind of see the extra material that had to be added to get all this to work this way um and this looks like I've added quite a bit, but if you compare it to what it's replacing, it's still quite a bit smaller. And the biggest piece of it all comes down to how much weight we're saving. Okay, so here's the old, old motor. Seven pounds, 4.9 ounces. Here's a new motor, even with the extra material added and whatnot for the gearbox. Three pounds, 13.9 ounces. So we saved quite a bit of weight and gained a lot of power in the process. Well, let's bolt it all up and see how it feels. So here we are all assembled, ready to rock and roll. So this is, uh, it all feels really good. I'll have to get it powered up to make sure that everything is working the way we're, we want. But all in all, I was pretty happy with this. And whole assembly, even with the gearbox, seven pounds, 10 ounces. So the whole gearbox assembly is basically lighter than the just the weapon motor was before. So this should save me several pounds. It's going to add quite a bit of power to it. We still got the, the fight of trying to get the, the brushless speed controller to work, make sure I get enough torque to spin this up the way I want. Uh, so that's going to be another video down the road. Like all of our videos, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. Um, we've got more coming on Mortician as we get ready for RoboGames.